Hey guys, we are still in the mining weeks, but don't worry, there won't be that many more videos about mining. But there's still a topic I have to cover, which is obsidian mining. We want to talk about how it's done, how much profit it is, and if you should do it. But before we dive into the video, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to the channel, as we're still on the journey to YouTube rank, and you can be part of the sub 5k gang. Also, you won't miss out on the upcoming series of how to properly grind on a normal profile. Anyways, let's start with the video. Starting off, we have to talk about why obsidian mining is a thing at all. It has some pros to it, as you don't have to set up a lobby for example, as you have to do with gemstone mining. Also, it's not as ping dependent as gemstone or mythal mining. Also, it's decent to level up pets, but we get to those rates in a bit. But obsidian mining also has some downsides to it as the only thing you get from it is, well, obsidian. Sure, you need some of it to max out the collection, but that's done pretty fast. So all of the other obsidian isn't needed and doesn't get you any progression. Also the coins per hour are worse than gemstone mining for example, and you need more powder to even start off with it. But let's go through it bit by bit. In this video we will talk about mining obsidian in the end. There is a route for crystal hollows obsidian, but that one is a troll and isn't an actual viable alternative. Technically, there's a third option of getting obsidian, not including minions, which is killing obsidian defenders down in the dragon's nest. But for the sake of this test we won't include it, as it's way worse than mining it. The only option where it might be better is if you're a game mode text and want to get the tree capitator early on, back when I played the game mode text mode, that's the way how I've gotten the tree cap. But let's go back to mining, as that's what the video is supposed to be about. By the way, as per usual, there's a guide about obsidian mining in the mining code discord. For ant island obsidian, you want to warp to the end, teleport to certain spots, mine until you use the mining speed boost and swap lobbies again. But let me explain it step by step. The idea is pretty simple. Once you use your mining speed boost ability, it has a cooldown of 2 minutes. What a lot of people don't know, me included before doing this video, mining speed boost comes on 3 levels. The first one is unlocked as soon as you unlock the MSP. The second one is unlocked once you are Heart of the Mountain 5 and unlock the first level of Peak of the Mountain. And the third one is unlocked by using a blue cheese omelette when using the ability. Depending on the level, the percentage boost increases. But it also lasts for longer. 15 seconds on level 1, 20 seconds on level 2 and 25 seconds on level 3. So when the effect of the mining speed boost runs out, in the best case scenario you will have a cooldown of 95 seconds left. This is where the lobby swapping comes into play. When you join a lobby, the pickaxe ability has a cooldown of 60 seconds flat. So even if you include the time it takes to swap the lobby, you still save about 30 seconds every time, making it way more effective to use the mining speed boost. There are two ways of swapping the lobby. The first one is by using slash L and slash skyblock. With this you will most likely end up in the same lobby. The other option is to go to another island and slash warp end afterwards so you will most likely end up in another lobby. Both ways have their use, it depends on how much you get disturbed by other people. If there's someone mining in the lobby, you want to switch the end lobby, if you are uninterrupted you can use the same one over again. Ok, but how do we do it now? There are two spots at which you want to mine obsidian. The one you see right now is the main spot. On screen you can also see the coordinates. The orange line is the one you want to mainly follow, especially if you are solo doing obsidian mining in a lobby. If there is another one doing it, you can try to both follow the red lines. If that doesn't work, here is the other spot where you can go for obsidian mining. You will also have the coordinates on screen. The main way of getting collection and mining XP is while having the mining speed boost active, as you can insta mine the obsidian with it. That's why I want to have it as often as possible. While it's not ready yet, you want to sneak while mining. When you use it, you can also run faster. You should double check with your ping if you leave a lot of obsidian behind when mining with the speed boost, if so tune down your speed by a bit. Also you should set up some keybinds using sky tilts, so you can quickly leave the lobby and join it back without having to type it every time. Using any new buttons for this also works completely fine if that's more of your type. As there's not a lot to explain when obsidian mining, we already get to the gear you need to properly do it. To start off with the armor, as expected, you want to have a Jaded Divan's armor. But this time around, 4 out of 5 chambers are totally fine, as you don't need a Topaz gemstone. Topaz only gets you pristine, which has an impact on gemstones, but not on obsidian. 
As for the drill, you want to run a advanced drill or a titanium drill X655. It's the same as for the armor, no topaz needed. So swap out your topaz gemstone for a jade, as it gets you more mining fortune. An amber polished drill engine and the high capacity tank are also helpful, as well as the sunny side goblin omelette equipped to your main drill. If you can afford it, also get a secondary drill with a blue cheese omelette, as it buffs the mining speed boost ability as explained above. If you've got both drills, you want to drill swap as per usual when mining. This time around, there's a change with the equipments you want to use. It's not the usual set of mining equipments, but the end ones, including the Dragon Fate Cloak. So you want to run Ender Necklace, Dragon Fate Cloak, Ender Gauntlet, and Ender Belt, all of them recombed and reforged to glistening. The reason for this is all stats from the equipments are getting doubled, for Dragon Fate they even get tripled. So while being in the end, this setup gets you the most mining fortune. The pet you want to use is also different. Usually when mining, you want to use a Baal or Scather, but both won't get you a lot here. Baal doesn't do anything at all, and Scather does buff your mining fortune, and you can use it, but in my opinion it's not worth it. More fortune only leads to a higher obsidian collection, which doesn't provide you anything. Instead you want to use Golden Dragon, or pretty much any pet to level. You can either take a pet you have to level for yourself, or the one that gets you the most profit when selling leveled. For my test I used the Baby Yeti, as I still needed some levels on it, equipped with a 40% mining XP boost. I've also got mining and taming 60. To further improve your coin rates, you can also take a secondary pet with an XP share. In my case it was a golden dragon. If you use a Scather as a pet, reforge your drill to auspicious. If you use any other pet, use refined. Lastly, you obviously want to have the mining talismans, so artifact of power, titanium relic and mineral talisman. Don't make the same mistake I did and forget about your IB case. This gets you another 1.5 mining wisdom, but I forgot to equip it. Now that we know what gear we need, let's talk about the heart of the mountain and the amount of powder. My suggested hollow tree is a standard one for mining. The important perks are mining speed, mining fortune, mining speed boost, efficient miner, seasoned mine man, mining speed 2 and mining fortune 2. Perks like powder buff and sky maul don't get us anything here. In the best case scenario, you want to max all of those perks. This costs you about 10 mil mithril and 7.5 mil gemstone powder. If you don't have enough powder to max all of the perks, you want to focus on mining speed first. This is because you want to have 6k mining speed to be able to insta mine obsidian with the mining speed boost. Now we're getting to the interesting part. How worth it is obsidian mining? As for most of the mining tests, I ran this one for 30 minutes. The results I'll be listing will be for the 1 hour time frame, so double the result I got. In terms of mining XP, I ended up with about 1.54 mil after 1 hour. The main pet, which was the baby yeti with a 40% mining XP boost, got a total of about 1.8 mil pet XP, and the secondary pet, which was a gold dragon, got an additional 225k XP on top. In terms of obsidian collection, I ended up with about 1 mil collection. But what does this mean in terms of profit? As one enchanted obsidian sells for about 4k coins by the time of this recording, 1 million collection gets me a total of 25 million coins from it. On top of this, I've also gotten about 2 mil pet XP. If you level up a golden dragon, the average coin per XP ranges from about 2 coins per XP to about 2.3 coins per XP. For simplicity, I'll take an average of about 2.15 coins per XP, which means I've got another 4.3 mil coins from pet XP. Keep in mind, I've only used the 40% mining XP boost, with the 50% one the profits might have been a bit higher. So to conclude this, from 1 hour of obsidian mining, I got roughly 29.3 million coins. With a bit of training, I think I could get this up to 30 mil per hour. But would I recommend obsidian mining? Well, if you don't have a lot of time, so it's not that worth it for you to set up a lobby, sure, it's not too bad in terms of money. But as soon as you've got a little more time, try to get into gemstone mining, as the profits are way higher. Also, another huge downside of obsidian mining is the lack of progression. You don't get anything from doing it besides some coins. If you want to level pets, you're doing better with mithril mining. If you want coins, you're doing better with gemstone mining. If you want to mine anything else, you can go for gold, as this buffs your golden dragon at least. For all of those topics, I've already made some tutorials, so feel free to check them out. And now I find grinding and I see you in the next one.